yesterday we have done exercise 1.1 of our chapter 1 notation and numeration hope you all don't not face couldn't face any difficulty while solving all parts of exercise 1.1 if you have any question regarding previous exercise 1.1 in any part a to g then <clears throat> you will ask me in the end of today's lecture is that clear to everyone okay now i am going to start our today's lesson that is lesson number 3 okay so today we are starting exercise 1.2 hope you all done exercise 1.1 in your books and in your fair copies okay so uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday we have started topic working with six digit numbers and you know very well open your books page number 1 you know very well that the largest five digit number is 99999 when you add 1 in 99999 it will become 1 lakh the new six digit number 1 lakh is six digit number in previous classes in previous yesterday lesson or the lesson before yesterday we working we learned how to work with six digit numbers i or i uh, taught you how to place six digit numbers in pakistani place value chart how to place six digit numbers in international place value chart how to expand them and how to write in words okay so today we have, our topic is working with seven digit numbers so look into your book page number 1 and also here on your screen first of all i am going to share today's objectives so topic is working with seven digit numbers and objectives are number 1 introducing seven digit number with their place value and expanded form number 2 placing seven digit numbers into pakistani and international period so here you see the largest Six digit number is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Okay, if you add one in nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, it will become ten lakhs. The new seven digit number is here. You see on your screens, units, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. And ten lakh. I I will also explain you how to. I will also in in Pakistani way. You will read it like units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, and ten lakh. I will show you that how you will read this seven digit number international way in further slides. Okay. So first of all, here you see that an other seven digit new number after when when you adding. Nine, uh, one in nine lakhs ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. The new seventy two number is here. That is ten lakhs. In ten lakhs, how many zeros are there? Six zeros. Okay. So this is written as Pakistani way. In Pakistani way. Okay. Because in Pakistani way, I already told you in previous lecture that in Pakistani way we group like three, three, two, two. Hope you all understand this. Okay. Now. i am moving to next slide here you see in this slide is given both in both ways in pakistani way what you have to say seven digit numbers in international way what seven digit number is okay so in pakistani when we add one in 9 lakhs 99999 it will become 10 lakhs but one becomes international in count Seven digit number in international period or international way, it will become one million. It will count as one million. Why? Look at here. Units, tens, hundreds, one group, thousand, ten thousand, and six digit is count as hundred thousand. As I already shown you yesterday slide of uh, slide uh, day before yesterday, in uh, international period six digit. Place is called hundred thousand, but in Pakistani period six digit place is called lakhs. Okay, so here after hundred thousand, <coughs> seven digit is read as million. Okay, it will donate with 
M, capital M. Now, here you see example number two. How to place numbers, seven digit numbers in Pakistani place value chart. You already know very well that in Pakistani place value chart, we group digits in or we group places in the group of three, two, two. Starting from the right side, first group consists of three places, second group consists of two places, and third group consists of two places. Here you see, starting from the right, first group is of units. It consists of three places, units, tens, hundred. First group, complete. Then we put comma here because comma act as separation, okay? So never forget to put comma when one group is end. Now comes to the next group that is of thousand in thousand thousand consists of two places thousand and ten thousand one group is complete here then we put again put comma here i will show you next slide then the next group third group is of legs legs consist of two places legs and ten legs in six digit numbers we will done it like here, ten, till legs, okay. But now we are working with seven digit numbers, so we are going till 10 legs because seven digit number in Pakistani place where you chart the seven digit name as 10 legs. So here you see that in Pakistani place where you chart, we group digits like three, two, two, okay. Now move to the next slide. Here you see you have to represent this number in this place value chart i already told you that we always start reading from right but always start writing from left here you see if you if we start reading from right then first group is of units second group is of thousand and third group is of legs divided in three two two this is the best identification of pakistani place value chart that we group digits in three two two now Five, here the first digit from right side is five. Five, five comes at the place of units. Zero comes at the place of tens. Seven comes at the place of hundred. Here one group is complete. Unit group is complete here. We put comma. Then here units stands hundred thousand. Thousand comes at the place of zero comes at the place of thousand. And two comes at the place of ten thousand. Another group is complete. Now move to the next. Legs. Nine comes at the place of legs. And here the seven digit in Pakistani place value chart. Seven digit is placed as ten leg. Okay. Unit ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, leg and ten leg. In Pakistani place value chart, it will write or it will read as ten leg. Seven digit it read as 10 leg always remember okay so here the group of three two two hope you all understand this okay now i am moving to next slide here you see now we read this number in words okay read this figure in words starting from the left side okay here one is at the place of 10 leg and nine is at the place of leg both the digits comes under the group of legs so it will write in words like 19 legs because leg and 10 leg are in one single group of legs so it will read as 19 legs here one group is complete you have to put comma okay now two at the place of 10,000 and zero at the place of thousand so both the 10,000 and thousands comes under the group of Thousand. So in words, you will write like 20,000. Okay. Then we put comma here. Then the next is 700, 0 tens, 5 units. It all comes under the uh, group of unit, but we will write it like 705 because there is nothing given in the place of tens. Here is 0 given in the place of tens. You will not mention 0 when we write in words. So here is 19 lakh 20,705. Okay, this is the placing of seven digit number in Pakistani place value chart. Okay, now move to international place value chart. 
as I already told you that in Pakistani place value chart, the seven digit is read a reddest leg. But in international place value chart, we read seven digit as million. International place value chart, we group digits in three, three, three. Okay. So starting from the right side, units, tens, hundred. These all three place values comes under the group of units. Units consist of three places that are units, tens, hundred. First group is complete. Okay, here's the Pakistani play, international places are same. Okay, first group is both in the, in both Pakistani international place where you are first group consists, first group is same. In Pakistani unit 10, 100, then comma, international same, units 10, 100, then first group is complete, then comma. The changes occurs in when we comes to 1000. Okay, so here you see units 10, 100, unit consists of three places. Here once first group is complete. And you know very well that in Pakistani we group digits like 3, 2, 2, but in international we group digit like 3, 3, 3. So here first group is complete. Now we put comma. Then next is thousand group here. In international place where you chart, thousand group consists of three places. But in Pakistani, you know that. 1000 group consists of only two places that is 1000 and 10,000 but in international way 1000 group consists of three places that is 1000, 10,000 and 100,000. Here six digit is called 100,000 but in Pakistani place where you charge six digit is called leg. Okay so here first group second group in international we group digits like three, three and three. Now Today, because we are starting with seven digit numbers, so here the seven digit number comes under the place of millions, and the next group is of millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. Okay, but we are just uh, we are just today I teach only the seven digit numbers, so we end up end up end up like on million. Okay, so million consists of millions, ten millions, and 100 millions, our seven digit number and international place value chart, our seven digit numbers end at million. But in Pakistani place value chart, our seven digit number ends at 10 lakh. Okay, now read from here, five units, three tens, 200. These all three consist of uh, 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 units, comes in the group of units. Now, 4,000, one ten thousand eight hundred thousand, but all but all these comes in the group of thousands. So here one another group is complete, and the seven digit comes under the place of million. So six is called six million. Here the group of three 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 because it is its place uh, its place in like international place value chart. Okay, now we move to the next slide. Here we represent this number in international place value chart. Okay, how many digits are these units? Seven digits, units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and then million. Here you know very well the mark, the putting of commas here because in international place value chart we put commas in three, three, and three. Okay, so starting from here, units, tens, hundred comes under the group of units. So Five comes under the place of units, three comes under the place of tens, and two comes under the place of hundred. First group is complete, we put comma here. Okay, now another group is of thousand. So four comes under the place of thousand, one comes under the place of ten thousand, and eight comes under the place of hundred thousand. Okay. Here another group is complete. So we put comma here. Then the seven digit number. Six comes in the group of millions, and here six the place value of the uh, place of six is millions. So here you see six eight one four two three five six millions eight hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred and thirty five. Here you see in words in next slide. So start from the left side. Six comes under the group of millions, and here the place of six is millions. So in words, we write it like six millions. Then we put comma here. Another group is of thousand. It consists of three places: hundred thousand, ten thousand, 
ten thousand and thousand. So eight comes under the place of hundred thousand. One comes under the place of ten thousand, and four comes under the place of thousand. So how you write it? How you read or write it? Eight hundred, okay, and fourteen thousand, okay. How you write it? Eight hundred and fourteen thousand, okay. Then move to the next. Put comma here because one group is end here, and the group is end here. So when it comes to the unit here, two hundred and Thirty-five. So how you read it? Six million eight hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred and thirty-five. Hope you all understand very well about how to place or how to represent seven-digit numbers in Pakistani and international place value chart. Always remember that in Pakistani place. Seven digit comes under the place of ten lakhs, but in inter when we write in international way, seven digit works. Uh, seven seven digit comes under the place of millions. Okay, in Pakistani we always group like three two two, but in international we always group like three three three. Hope you all understand this and how to represent seven digit numbers in Pakistani. An international place value chart. Okay. <clears throat> Now look at here. Here you see that this is the number six nine eight seven six five four. When we write, when we count it as Pakistani place value chart, look at this upper upper one. Four units. First of all, read in Pakistani. Okay. Four units. Five tens. Six hundred. Seven thousand, eight ten thousand, nine lakh, and six ten lakh. In ten in Pakistani place value chart on Pakistani way you will place seven digit number under ten lakh. Okay, here the place or in Pak. If I ask that if in Pakistani way what's the place of six? Okay, so what you say the place of six is ten lakh. Okay, and here you see inter international way. Now see the lower one. This one. Four units, five tens, six hundred, seven thousand, eight ten thousand, nine hundred thousand, and six comes under the place of millions. This is the difference while reading Pakistani or international place value chart. In Pakistani place value chart, six red is ten lakh. In international place value chart, the seven digit number that is six here, that is. Million. So when we read in Pakistani way, it will read like uh, Pakistani will read like sixty nine lakhs because lakh and ten lakh comes under one group. Thousand, ten thousand comes under one group. So we'll read it like eighty seven thousand six hundred and fifty four. When we read when we read in international way, we will read it like six million nine hundred. Eighty-seven thousand. Okay, nine hundred eighty-seven thousand six hundred and fifty-four. Okay, hope you all understand this. If you have any question regarding how to present or how to place seven-digit number in Pakistani and international place value chart, you will ask me in chat box after the lecture ends. Okay. Now look at here. Here you see how to place commas. You understand hundreds in Pakistani way. Okay, this is Pakistani PV means Pakistani when IP means international period. Pakistani period and international period. Units ten hundred four five six. One group is complete. You will see brackets that I represent with orange marker. Okay, then comma. Then only you will see only Pakistani way. Look at here. Ten thousand thousand comes under one group. So we seven and eight. Then we put comma. Then lakh ten lakh comes under one one group. So here you place it like this. <clears throat> Then in words you will write it like sixty nine lakhs eighty seven thousand six hundred and fifty four. Now comes international way. Here we group like three three three. In Pakistani we group like two three two 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 so on. Okay. So starting from here four comes under the place of unit. Five comes under the place of ten. Six comes under the place of hundred. Here, one group is complete. You will put comma here. Then, seven comes under the place of thousand. Eight comes under the place of ten thousand. Nine comes under the place of hundred thousand. And here, seven-digit number is 
radius radius million okay the place of 6 here the seven digit number is 6 and the place of 6 comes under million okay so how you read it 6 million 987 654 This is how we put commas in Pakistani or international way. Okay, students, do you all understand this? If you understand, then please reply yes in chat box. Okay. Now, here we go. Exercise one point two. Exercise one point two, part A. Also, open your books. Page number. Uh, seven. Okay. And here on your screens, exercise one point two, page number seven, part A. Place these periods first in Pakistani way, second in the international way by placing the commas correctly. The same exercise is done by us yesterday or the day before yesterday. In exercise one point one, but of six digit numbers here, what we have to do? The change is only the seven digit number. Okay, so here you see example number one. I have solved for you. Okay, how many digits are these? Seven digits. Units, tens, hundreds. First of all, what we have to do? What What is asking here that you have to place these numbers in both periods first in Pakistani way, then in international way by using commas correctly. This same exercise is already done by you in exercise one point one part A. The only difference is that that there we do six digit numbers and here we do seven digit numbers. Okay, so here you see. Question number one: How many digits are these? Seven digits. When we read in Pakistani way, nine lakhs. Sorry, ninety-four lakhs. Because here nine is nine comes under the place of ten lakh, and four comes under the place of lakh. So one in when we both of these are in one group, so we read it like ninety-four lakhs. Then we put comma here. Another nine, uh, nine, go nine ten lakhs, and then four lakhs. Then Ten thousand and then thousand hundreds tens units. Yeah, if, uh, if you start reading from right side, then units ten hundreds put comma thousand ten thousand put comma leg ten leg put comma. Okay, in Pakistani we group digits in three two two. Okay, so here you see three two two units tens hundreds comma thousand ten thousand comma. Legs ten leg comma here legs legs group is complete you will put comma here here thousand group is complete you will put comma here and here units or ones group is complete you will put here comma so ninety four legs thirty five thousand nine hundred seventy eight now we change or we put commas in international way okay in international way we group digits in three two Two, three, two, two. So starting from here, units ten hundred. Put comma. First group, first three, uh, group of three is complete here. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Then we put comma here, okay? Because this is international way and this is Pakistani way. In Pakistani way, we group digit in three, two, two, and international way, we group digit in three, three, three. Here, nine millions. Four hundred and thirty-five thousand nine comes at the in the group of millions or in the place of millions. Four hundred and thirty-five here. Four hundred thousand, three ten thousand, and five thousand. So we uh, read it like four hundred and thirty-five thousands. Now nine hundred and seventy-eight. So here we put two commas and divide or separate groups in the uh, groups in three three three. Here you see another example. It will solve also solve in this manner, same manner. Okay. In this way, you will solve exercise one point two part A. Okay. If you have any question regarding this exercise, then you will ask me in the end. Now here you see part B of the same exercise, page number eight of your book. This is also the same exercise as we all as we had already done in 
the previous exercise 1.1 so write these numbers in figures placing commas correctly according to the pakistani period what is asked what they ask here just to represent in pakistani periods okay in the same way that you already done in previous exercise 14 lakh lakhs 67,015. Okay, you have to match uh, right number that match these words. Okay, that number. Uh, write these numbers in figures. You have to write these numbers. These are represent in words form in words, and you have to represent it in numbers or figures. So starting from here, starting from here. Here one example is done. One or three examples are done for you. Number one. Fourteen lakh seventy sixty-seven thousand and fifteen. Fourteen lakhs means ones come in the place of ten lakh and four comes under the place of lakh. So here you write it like fourteen lakh. Then we put comma here. Sixty-seven thousand. This is what what uh, how you identify whether it's Pakistani period because here what is mentioned lakh is mentioned and you know very well then. Here, for if, if there is only given four lakh, then you know very well that is six-digit number. But here, what is given fourteen lakh? It means that this is seven-digit number because one comes under the place of ten lakh and four comes under the place of lakh. So here, you write it like fourteen lakh, put comma sixty-seven thousand means six comes under the place of ten thousand, seven comes under the place of thousand. Here, you write it like sixty-seven thousand, put comma and then. Fifteen. Here, nothing is given in the place of hundred. I already told you when there is nothing given in the place, then you will write zero in the place of hundred or any other digit. Then and fifteen. Okay. In this way, you will solve this exercise. So here you see home task. Your home task is exercise one point one and one point two part A. You will done in your fair copy. Okay. All questions in your fair copy. But part B in your book because there is much space given. Because there is much space given, so part B will done in your.